this is Jana. Welcome to my kitchen. This is one of my all-time most requested recipes. I got this from a friend from church almost 30 years ago. <laughs> and I have made it so many times and it's still one of my kids' favorites too. I've got two packages of room temperature cream cheese. I'm going to whip it real quick here. And then I'm going to add some sugar and some almond extract. All right. Here is one egg yolk. So I got to get some more out of that. I broke the egg yolk as I was pouring it into the cup. There. Now we got it all. And then one half cup of sugar. That sounds like a lot of sugar, but when this has probably upwards of 24 servings, that's not very much sugar. I'm going to add my almond extract. It calls for one teaspoon. This is a half teaspoon, so I'm going to put in two of them. I'm going to reserve this because I'm going to need it for the icing. Just like that. Scrape the beaters off. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. Like I said, I know it was the 19, mid 1980s or mid 1990s when I started making this. So not quite 30 years ago, coming up to it though. We were having our pie baking for our youth group to raise money. And one of our church members named Diane brought these to, for us workers to enjoy. And my life was changed because it was so delicious. We've made them ever since. Made them ever since. So good. All right, now. Crescent rolls, doesn't matter which ones you get, but um, they make the sheets now, which is really nice. These are probably gonna pop. <laughs> and I know it scares me every time, even though I know they're gonna pop. I've got a sheet here with parchment paper on it. I know my daughter has her own home and everything now, and this is still one of her favorites. I'm probably going to take her some this week. She'll be happy. So now you're going to want to stretch. This out. We've got two tubes of them here. I'm gonna make it as long as my sheet pan here. This came off this top corner, so I'm gonna put that back in there. This is rustic, so you don't have to be fancy on this one. All right, so now I'm gonna take half of my cream cheese filling. Erin, do you wanna grab me that one offset spatula, please. I forgot to grab that one. Such a helper, she's such a servant's heart. She is my right arm, my left arm, and my brain. And anybody who knows her would agree she is so smart. Half. 
Do you see what I'm doing up there? Just get it even. There we go. Now I've got some sliced almonds. And I'm going to have the written recipe in the note in the description box below. All my recipes are all written out for you. I like that crunch on the inside to have those almonds. All right, so now flip that over. So simple. Just like that. All right, now I'm going to repeat the same thing with the other half and then we'll be back. All right, I've got this other half I'm just finishing up. Doesn't take long at all. Doesn't matter if there's holes, people. It's okay. This stuff is very thin and it tears. It's kind of like a little puzzle. Just pinch it together. It's all right. I'm going to cover most of that up anyway, just like that. Even if it peeks out again, it'll be okay. Like I said, these are bars and they are rustic. All right, so now I've got two egg whites. There was one egg yolk in the filling there. So now I have two egg whites and I'm just gonna get them foaming. Just to the foamy, just so it's not solid egg white. So I would call that to the soft peak stage. I love my handy dandy little 1940s, 50s egg beater. You can find them on eBay. The new ones aren't as good as the old ones. I don't think, personal opinion. All right. See, just nice soft peaks. Now I'm gonna grab a spatula. And I'm going to just lightly put the egg white on top. Super simple. And these are going to bake about 25 minutes at 350 degrees. This top is gonna to turn into this luscious little crispiness. It's so pretty. If you don't have an egg beater, use your mixer. If you don't have a mixer, use your whisk until it gets there. You'll just have a very good arm workout. But this kind of makes it, so don't skip this part. All right, now finish them off with a few more almonds. Like I said, we're gonna pop them in the oven about 20 to 25 minutes until nice and golden brown. So crunchy, you can tell there's almonds inside plus the cream cheese plus the almond flavoring. All right, they're gonna go in the oven. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, while the almond pastry bars are baking, I'm gonna run my whisk through here just to Kind of sift my confectioner sugar, powder sugar. This is two cups, and we're gonna make the icing for the almond pastry bars. Okay, to this, we're gonna add one teaspoon. This is a half teaspoon, so we're gonna add two of these of almond extract. That's powerful stuff almond extract, so don't over pour it like you do vanilla, or like I do vanilla. And then we're gonna add two tablespoons of milk. You can use water. We're gonna make 
make this to an icing consistency. And like the sugar can be different compaction and the humidity in the air, everything. So we always start low. One thing about icing, when you're working with confectioner sugar, I don't know why. <laughs> I probably should research it. But if you add too much liquid, I don't care how much, and you think, oh, I'll just add some more powdered sugar, it's too loose. I don't care, you could put a semi-truck load of <laughs> confectioner sugar and it'll never go the right way again. <laughs> so always add confect or liquid to confectioner sugar slowly. All right, so now we're going to whisk this. And I wanted to make it ahead of time so that the sugar has time to dissolve completely in the liquid. And just whisk, whisk, whisk. If you don't have a whisk, use a fork. And you want it to be able to do this. Just like that. So now I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna put a towel over it so the air doesn't dry it out. And then when our almond pastry bars are about three quarters of the way cool, I'm gonna to top them with this. So we'll be back. Look what I just got out of my oven. Two beautiful almond pastry bars. And so I'm going to have got our icing. See how that still flows? We want that to still flow. We don't want it to do too heavy. So I would and we're just putting this beautiful icing on these. These are so nice to take. And so then when you slice them, you're just gonna slice them, you know, this way to take. And you can decide how many portions you want and go from there. I will tell you, make extra, because very few people I know can only eat one. <laughs> They're so good. And look at this. Ooh. And I'm going to let these set for a few minutes and then I might come back. We'll see what they look like in a little bit. I might come back and add a little more drizzle after they've sat. Get all the way to the end for every bite. Thank you for stopping by Jana's Kitchen. I'm so thankful that you're here and I hope that you find a recipe that you and your family and your friends will love to enjoy. Please hit the like, the subscribe, and hit the little notification bell so you can tell when all my new videos come up. I got lots of spring videos coming up. Thank you.